Hey, what's up guys? Sir Eminon here and welcome to another feature match commentary on the channel today. So this is going to be top 8 of the 3v3 LCS happening this weekend. And right now you can see on screen for you guys the top 24 deck breakdown since of course there are 8 teams and 3 players per team makes 24. And this is pretty interesting. Now, by and large, this should be fairly accurate. It's not official, you know, no official luxury graphic or pie chart or anything like that. But I did go ahead and look into each of the dueling book rooms just to see what the players were playing. And even though I was missing two of them, since that match actually finished pretty early, uh, this is what I actually managed to gather between my own findings and just, you know, sharing data with other people and other sources. So this is what we're looking at here, and it is pretty expected, not gonna lie. Uh, not really a whole ton of rogue decks here. So what I tried to do is just, you know, find some of the lower represented decks on this list for you guys in the earlier stages of the top cut, since we're inevitably gonna have some dragon like mirrors <laughs> as we approach further and further towards the finals. So for this top eight match, we got Simulator 1 once again on Pure Zodiac versus Cromwell Zor on Tri Brigade Zodiac. So these are some very, uh, very nice and fascinating decks to, uh, to watch, I would like to believe. But anyways, if you guys do want to go and check out Luxury Gaming, the organizers for this tournament circuit, I will have all their social media links in the description box below for you guys to check out. But let's now get started with this matchup here without any further ado. Already a minute and a half into the video. Uh, so it looks like... They got into the room pretty early, so we're just going to skip here, fast forward, and there we go. So I believe that was a Zoo player winning the RPS, and they're going to choose to go first. So the opening hand for Pure Zoo going first is going to be Tanky, Ash Blossom, Solemn Judgment, Bunny Blast, and Cosmic Cyclone. So really solid hand for sure. Has multiple Zoos uh, for just being able to play multiple turns in a row, and has pretty solid setup. Not really any Floodgates or anything like that, but it should be pretty pretty good to be able to just play into the later stages of the game here. And then the opening hand for Tri Brigade Zoo going second is going to be Torrential Tribute, Ram Ram, Kit, Ice Dragon's Prison, and Fractal. So again, kind of the more trap-oriented build. Uh, we see these two starter cards, which I guess are glued to every Tri Brigade player's hand, um, but they didn't open any hand traps necessarily or dedicated board breakers, but they don't really have to in this matchup. It's going to be fairly grinding nonetheless, so curious as to see how this game is going to I guess, evolve and progress. So we're going to see a tanky activation to kick things off from the Pure Zoo player that's going to grab a Third Blade. Third Blade is going to be the normal summon, and that's going to pitch the Bunny Blast to draw into Barrage. So exchanging the backup zoo for, you know, just as many backup zoos as the deck has until this card gets outed. So pretty strong for sure. Then going to overlay into Shackanine, and then going to go and detach for Bunny Blast. So they might actually dry to pop to get back the Third Blade. So they're going to go for Hammer Kong, then Dryden. They're going to set two, and then end phase are going to use Dryden to pop the Bunny Blast, which will trigger to add back Thera Blade. So even more Zoos, just in case, just more insurance. So we're going to see a pass, and then the top deck for Tri Brigade Zoo is going to be another copy of Kit. Um, not ideal, but again, it's going to be fairly grindy. But they're actually going to start off by normal summoning a Ram Ram instead. So on the summon, they're going to actually go and use Dryden to pop the Ram Ram they don't want to, I guess, burn Judgment too early, and they don't want Zeus coming down. So here's where Fractal is going to come in. That's going to pitch itself to send a copy of nothing because it's going to get ashed. Yeah, so that was likely going to send Nerval to grab Keros so they can extend a bit further, but yeah, Ash going to curtail that follow-up there. So they're just going to set two back row and then pass. End phase, they can actually Cosmic Cycle in here on the Ice Dragon's Prison. I do like it in this matchup, you know, blind Cosmic on the end phase. Because unlike certain other matches like Shadal or Eldritch, um, you don't have to like specifically target certain cards to Cosmic like Schism or the um, Golden Land traps. Like these are all going to be reactive traps, so you might as well just hit them on the end phase here. So we're going to see a top deck Solemn Judgment for turn a second copy. So that is going to be quite solid. This might be less of a grind than I initially anticipated. So we're going to see a normal summon a Third Blade, and then going to overlay for Hammer Kong, then Tiger Mortar, then Tiger Mortar effect is. Oh, looks like on summon they're going to try and Torrential Tribute, but that's going to be met with Judgment. And so Bunny Blast is going to be equipped to the uh, Dryden here. And then they're going to go to Battle Phase, they're going to attack for 800 and then 16 plus 200 from Tanky. So a fair amount of damage here. And then Main Phase 2, they're going to make a Zeus. And this was 1, 2, 3, 4 summons. Yeah, they're playing around Nibiru as well. They're going to set Solemn Judgment and then pass. For sure, we're going to see a top deck Zodiac wrap here. So I actually do wonder how many zoos they're playing. Traditionally, in Tri Brigade Zoo, the zoo count is fairly minimal. Um, so I'm curious as to what the ratios are here in this list. 
But that's actually just going to be a concession. So uh, Pure Zoo actually going to take things in game number one against Tribrigade Zoo. And now we're going to move into game number two here, where it looks like the Tribrigade Zoo player gets to start, and they're going to pick to go first. Not really anything shocking there. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this video, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new here and want to see more commentary similar to this. But the opening hand for uh, Tribrigade Zoo going first this time around is going to be Double Kit, Keras, Revolt, and Twin Twisters. So no uh, Kit plus Fractal, but Kit plus Keras this time. Um, this definitely looks like a pretty good hand for sure. Uh, Twin Twister might be useful against the back row for Zoo as well. And then the opening hand for Pure Zoo going second is going to be Tanky, Bunny Blast, Whiptail, Strike, and Dark Ruler No More. So keeping in Strike going second, again, because it could potentially go into a grind situation. So Strike is actually a pretty good card going second um, to help break boards in the cases where it draws multiple traps. Um, and of course, the Zoo Engine is super good going second. Drawing Dark Ruler as well, pretty nice. We're going to go ahead and proceed to main phase one for the Tri Brigade player. They're going to pitch Kit for Keras here to start things off. So that's going to summon itself, which triggers the Kit effect. So that's going to send Nerval. And then Nerval effect is going to add from deck to hand a copy of Fractal. And then from here, they're going to be thinking they're going to use Keras effect. That's going to banish two. And then that's going to summon out a copy of Farajit from the extra deck. And then Farajit is going to special summon out Kit, or not, sorry, not Kit, uh, Fractal from hand. And then we're going to see a big link summon for a copy of Appaloosa. That's going to have three negations on it. Fairy just going to draw into another copy of Twin Twister and then put one back. They're then going to set Revolt and then they're going to set Twin Twister and then pass. So they actually didn't normal summon this turn. They could have gone for potentially a kit play if they wanted to. Uh, I'm assuming this list cut the barrier statue stuff. Not really that many people play it anymore. Um, but we'll have to just wait and see, I guess, until the lists get revealed. But we are going to see a top deck Imperm for turn. So, I mean, that's going to be pretty nice to just interrupt the follow-up plays. I don't believe the card in hand is known. Granted, there is a lot of follow-up because Revol is just such a crazy card. Just being able to recycle Kit and Nerval as well. So we're going to see Dark Ruler. That's going to take care of the Appaloosa. Then Tenki is going to come down next for a copy of Zodiac Thoroughblade. Which I imagine is going to be normal summoned here. That's going to pitch the Bunny Blast to draw into another third blade. Just drawing a lot of zoos here. I don't really think that's super ideal in this scenario. Um, but I mean, I guess it's... Uh, actually, I was going to say it's better than drawing a brick, but there's not really any bricks in pure zoo. Uh, but anyways, carrying on here, we're going to see Revolt being activated. Um, that is going to be special summoning back Nerval and Kit and two from Graveyard. And then those are all going to be linked for Shrike. So that's going to trigger the Shrike as well as the Nerval effect. So that's going to banish the Fairy Blade and then search Fractal off the Nerval. Yeah, so I imagine they really just wanted, um, they really just wanted like an extender, which again, Pure Zoo doesn't tend to play super many of. Um, so they're just going to go and set Strike and set Imperm and then pass. But that's going to walk right into Twin Twisters here, pitching the kit. And that is the end of game number two. That was going to trigger the kit as well, uh, just in case they have more stuff to send. Uh, but yeah, game two goes to Tri Brigade Zoo, and I thought these games were going to be more grindy, but I am proven very wrong here, as uh, it really seems that the tempo shifts quite quickly um, in favor of the player who gets to set up first. So we're going to now move into game three here, where it looks like Pure Zoo is going to kick things off yet again. And before we get started in game three, just want to shout out my patrons as usual. So thank you all so much for supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot. Uh, definitely appreciate the support. And if you are interested in supporting the channel via the Patreon as well, uh, please feel free to check that out in the description box below. But moving on to game three here, the opening hand for Pure Zoo going first is going to be Monster Reborn, Book of Moon, Bunny Blast, Ram Ram, and Ash. So speaking of extenders and pure zoo that aren't plentiful, Monster Reborn does happen to be one of those few. So that might be good as a sort of contingency play if things go south. Uh, Book of Moon is such a cool card. Uh, I do like it as a versatility card going first and going second. Um, and yeah, the hand has zoos in it. I mean, not really a whole ton to look at here. And then the opening hand for Tribigate Zoo going second is going to be Tanky, Ram Ram, Fractal, Nerval, and Kit. So... Again, not really any go second cards, but no traps this time, notably. It's a lot of engine cards. Um, pretty much just five tri beasts. If we're counting zoos, of course. So we're going to see the pure zoo player start things off with a normal summon Ram Ram. That's going to go and be overlaid for Shackanine into Dryden. They're going to set book and then pass. Very simple. We're going to see a top deck alpha for turn. This card has you know additional synergy in you know just any tri beast adjacent deck. So we're going to see a Tenki being activated that is going to search for a copy of Wrap here. So game more zoos. They're going to go for a... I guess it makes sense because Fractal is already in hand. I don't 
really know what I expected there, to be honest. But Alpha is going to be special summon there, and then that's going to force out Dryden immediately. And then we're going to see the Rap here come down next. So that's going to activate its effect, actually, and then send a copy of Whiptail. So we know at least these three zoos are being played. And then it looks like on resolution, we're going to see Book of Moon flip down that Rap here, cutting off any access to the Zeus from that avenue right there. So we are going to see Fractal Effect that is going to be Ash Blossomed. But there still is... Oh, there is no Keras. I for some reason thought there was. Uh, that was going to get to Keras by sending Nerval. So that is... I think going to be it actually. Yep, they're just gonna pass here. We're gonna see a top deck Psalm Strike return. And then we're gonna see the zoo play of normal summon the bunny blast. And then they're going to go and overlay for Hammer Kong and then go for Zedek Borbo. They're gonna go to battle phase, attack into the set wrap here with the Dryden, and attack directly for 800 with the Borbo. And then they're gonna go main phase two, make a Zeus, just playing around Nibiru again. And then gonna set strike and then pass. For turn, we're gonna see a strike of the Tribe Gate player's own drawn for turn. So, yeah, it's not really looking too good. Um, it's gonna be tough to play against all of these interruptions. There's three of them here. So, you're gonna start by normal summoning Nerval, which is a pretty solid normal summon since there's gonna be value gained regardless of if it goes to grave or stays on field. So, just trying to play around the known interruptions here. So the summon is going to be successful. They're then going to go and normal summon, or sorry, use Nerval's effect. They already normal summoned it. Uh, but that's going to banish four and then walk right into Solemn Strike. So Nerval is going to trigger in the graveyard here for, I imagine, a copy of Keros. Yeah. And then Keros is going to be able to activate its effect to summon itself by pitching a kit. And then we're going to see, okay, looks like Keros is going to be summoned and then Kit gets the trigger if they want to. Kit is going to send a copy of Fractal to the graveyard. And then looks like Giant's going to just pop the Keros right there. And then they're going to set Solemn Strike. And then end phase. Zeus is going to activate. And that is going to be it. So Pure Zoo taking this match 2-1. to one. Those are actually some fairly quick games. Um, I didn't actually you know, watch this in real time. But uh, yeah, I guess that's how the matchup goes. If you know one player opens you know, just all five cards that are engine cards against... you know. Enough interruptions, right? Um, yeah, they really needed stuff to... I guess I was wrong about like needing cards to break the board because it turned out that was pretty necessary. Um, or at the very least, drawing traps to be able to help you know, mitigate uh, the fact that their own combos got stopped. Um, or they needed to hard draw Chaos turn one. That might have been good. Um, but yeah, we got to see a pretty good demonstration of each of these decks. And that'll be it for the top eight. So that is going to be it for this batch. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like as well as any thoughts or feedback in the comments. Subscribe for more informative and competitive review content. If you want to, you can follow me on all social media platforms or support me with the links in the description as usual. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. See you guys.